Eight years ago, I fell in love with a rock band called Magic. Their lyrics were simplistic. You remember Asama hai Neela Kyu, Pani Gila Gila Kyu? But their music was infectious and enduring, especially the anthem Rock On. These boys are the Joe Kedar Zaveri, also known as KD or Killer Drummer, and Rob weren't heroes. They were confused and vulnerable, ambitious and hopeful. KD cracked bad jokes. Joe had anger management issues and Adi was a bundle of angst. But when they reunited for that one last gig before Rob's death, it really was magic. And then they grew up. In Rock On 2, directed by debutant Shujat Sodagar, the band has scattered. Joe, who used to give guitar lessons to neighborhood kids to make money, is now a successful reality show host and club owner. Katie still makes music. Adi has moved to a village in Meghalaya where he runs a farmer's cooperative and a kid's school. That for me was the first alarm bell. This move from Mumbai rocker to Meghalaya social worker is so random and far-fetched that the film is instantly weakened. It becomes difficult to take any of what follows seriously. In fact, the story by Abhishek Kapoor and Pobali Chaudhary is so convoluted that we have KD's running voiceover to explain what is going on and why characters are doing what they are doing. He even explains emotions. Shujat is clearly not a big believer in that classic writing rule, show, don't tell. The Meghalayan landscapes are stunning and the performances are strong. The standout is Shraddha Kapoor who plays Jia, the daughter of a famous classical musician. In a moving scene, Jia rails against her censorious father, her face a defiant mix of anger and ache. Arjun Rampal also reminds us that when he chooses to, he can deliver. His good looks have frayed and he invests Joe with a bruised, bristling dignity. Purab Kohli and Prachi Desai ooze warmth and I really enjoyed the character of Manjot, a reality show contestant who saves the day. Of course, the centerpiece of Rock On 2 is Adi, which is inherently problematic. Farhan Akhtar is both sincere and effortlessly cool. But the narrative insists on positioning Adi as heroic. It's not enough that he's a rock star. He must also be a saviour. When a fire ravages the village, he leaps in to save a trapped mother and daughter. We're treated to shots of his ripped body. He brings food to hungry children. Eventually, he puts together a Woodstock-style concert and helps Jia to discover her voice both literally and metaphorically. Really. <laughs> like the first film, Rock On 2 moves to a rousing musical climax. The lead up to this point isn't very convincing, but it will give you goosebumps to see the fabulous Usha Uttup on a stage singing the hybrid Khasi Hindi song Chalo Chalo. Shankar Ehsan Loy's music in this film doesn't match the brilliance of the original score, but the adrenaline is palpable. They create several high notes. <laughs> elements that you will enjoy, but the film is felt by the undercooked writing. The dialogue by Farhan Akhtar doesn't help to disguise the flaws. At one point, Jia turns to Adi and asks about the starving villagers, listen, gaon wale theek hain? As though she was casually inquiring about a sick relative. The Meghalaya angle is of course entirely superficial. The local characters are paper thin and we don't get any sense of this world. There's just not enough for us to invest in. I'm going with two and a half stars. If you like this video, do subscribe to Film Companion. We've got new videos every Monday and Friday.